Hey everyone, just going to do a quick review of the Calame 7049 ball head which arrived today. Uh, it's to replace my Red Snapper RS8 12, which uh, unfortunately lost one of its friction knobs uh, in Finland. I was a bit dubious about the quality of the Calame at first, but a few friends sent me some details and links, and um, it seemed to check out specs wise. Uh, takes 13 kilograms of weight, uh, camera and lens and um, features wise it seems quite well specced as well so uh, I'll go through all those shortly uh, beforehand I want to apologize for the wind noise that you might hear in this video it's quite windy out here today uh, really sunny afternoon just before the sunset but um, let's see what we can do the specs of the bullhead seem really good as well it takes 13 kilograms of weight it has the friction knob it has the locking knob uh, it also has a locking latch go through that in a moment, it's got some cool features, spirit level is included, the tripod I'm using is a Red Snapper XH RS324, uh, I got this one, it's a good tripod, it's not carbon fibre, uh, so it is quite heavy, but it does the job for me, I like a bit of weight to my um, tripods, uh, so let's go over some of the features. One of the features I do like about this is the uh, locking the, uh, release, it stops you from accidentally releasing the um, if you snag on something so your expensive kit won't fall off or anything like that I'll show you that in a moment um, it's really easy to use it's really quite simple I'm surprised a lot of other um, makers don't put something like this in this is also quite cool it locks when you open the um, thumb release and then as soon as you put the uh, camera back on it clips back in so attaching and removing the camera is easily a one-handed affair it's it's really quite cool okay so for the rest of this video I'm going to use my phone uh, again I do apologize for the wind noise that you might pick up in this video but um, I'll try and be as clear as possible cameras on there right now 5d3 with a quite heavy lens there Sigma 35 so you accidentally you can't sort of release it and the camera's not going to fall off anyway it's all there nice and tight when it's seated in you push the thumb release all the way in so it's fully locked in and it's not going to move one single bit you can see on there that I am tapping the lens front end and it's not really much in it it's very sturdy so to attach the camera it's really easy one-handed this is what I was on about earlier just put it in and let it clip in and then push it all the way in Closing, this is the Calume 7049 Ballhead Pro D Ballhead. It's 149s off their website. It might take about two weeks to arrive uh, because it was out of stock when I ordered it. Um, for 149 pounds, I don't think you're going to get a better ballhead than this. Um, the quality you're getting is of ballheads which are pretty much twice that price. And, uh, it's not only going to give you steady shots, but it's also going to protect your kit just in case you accidentally snag it on something or uh, bash it on something, it's not going to come off. The QR plate is quite good as well, I'll show you that. The QR plate on this is quite good, it's a thumb operated one really, so you don't have to put a screwdriver in there or pull a tab out to get to it. Um, it's really quite simple and it just works, so uh, no complaints there.